Hey folks, Jonathan here. Been playing with some wood here. I wanted to show you. I'm uh, actually not tearing down a tobacco barn, but cleaning up the mess. Uh, had a uh, buddy of mine had a guy come and push one down with a uh, with a traco because it was kind of unsafe and it was uh, foundation was giving way and it was falling down. So he had him push it down, and then uh, I'm cl actually cleaning the mess up for the. Uh, for the wood out of it and such and uh it actually had a lean to on it that was about i think 18 foot by 24 foot and uh this wood here is all from the lean to and now i'm not into woodworking or construction or anything like that so if i misname some of this stuff you know i'm sure there's proper terms for what board goes where and all that but i i don't know them and i'm not going to claim to know them but but uh I call them fern strips anyway, but that's the, the, it had rafters and then, or just two by sixes of rafters and it had these, which is true one by fours. And, uh, when I say true one by fours, you know, they hadn't been planed, so they're actually rough cut one inch by four inch. And, uh, these were the strips that run across and then the 10, the 10 got nailed down to them, but that, now this was not part of the actual building. This was just part of the lean to off of it. And, uh, below it, you'll see, uh, all the uh, two by sixes. Now the ends of them has got a little bit of rot, so they'll be need to be shortened down. But you know they're in. Uh, besides that, they're in really good shape. And uh, the building, the entire building's built out of uh, one by twelve lumber. Uh, what they did is they put one piece up upright, and then they put a piece of like black tar paper over that, and then they put another piece upright, and they overlapped them. And uh, so there's actually two, you know, a thickness of two, one by 12s all the way around the building. And like I said, the building, I think it's about 18 by 18. And uh, I've got the tier poles, which I, and I'm not sure the correct name on them, but the, uh, the round poles you see there are actually the poles that, that you hang the tobacco from. And they ran across the inside of a building. And I know it was the back of barn at with, uh, one of the walls missing so I'm going to try to get a little video of that and show you what it actually looks like inside because this one's already pushed down and uh, this was my just my first load I really haven't got any of the two by twelves I just or the one by twelves I just grabbed a couple of the boards now anyway I'm gonna run over and start tearing some more apart and uh, you'll see there's a lot of it rotted a lot of it's no good but I wanted to save what you know one by twelves I could get out of it and you know the other boards and the tear poles a lot of people like to use them for stuff and uh if you notice the boards are turned sort of a reddish color this was because this was the inside wall and the tobacco curing in it you know done that and it actually put it's like a coating on them them poles too and the bugs don't like them poles real well because of that and uh the uh of course the inside of the boards you know you're always usually in really good shape so but uh, I'll show you some more, and we'll uh, we'll get over there and get back to work. Okay, we've got everything loaded into my storage unit here, and it's old uh, van trailer off a of, you know tractor trailer. But uh, we'll go back and get some more. All right, show you more. Okay, folks, here's my mess I'm cleaning up here. Uh, like I said, a lot of it's rotted, but a lot of it's still solid. And uh, and these one by twelves you see here, there's there's actually two of them. You got the the inside, and then you've got a piece of uh, that black tar paper, and then there's a another side. So we're gonna save what we can save. This is what's left. I've cleaned a lot of it up, but uh, I'm gonna. There's another barn here exactly like this one, and I'll show you what it looks like. You can see that green. Uh, it's uh roll roofing is what it is but uh that is what was on the side of this one and that's what protects these things but the other building over there does not have it excuse the traffic there it's kind of noisy where i'm at but uh here's what the other for what the building actually originally looked like and uh you can see the roll roofing's going off of it 
and uh, that wood that I was unloading this morning was actually off of the, the lean to on the front of this other one but uh, but that's exactly what I'm tearing down and them poles actually run through the inside of that thing and uh, at all different heights and that's what they hang the tobacco on and then they actually heat them and I'll show you the, what they was using to to heat these things there's a bunch more decent boards that's got to be cleaned up here like I said there's a lot of rotted stuff there's a lot of good stuff there's uh, three tear poles left here I've still got to get out I couldn't get out because it was you know wood laying on them but uh here's the little heaters well, these most of these are all ran propane and uh these were the little burners that they had in there actually that one says tar hill and then uh gas to back so there's a few different brands here but they're all burners for the fort they was usually just at one end and they had a and I don't see it but it's around here somewhere but they had a metal uh, sort of like a, a cheaply made heater and these was in them but you know it just uh, heated everything up in there you can see these boards here like this that reddish sort of a reddish tint to them and that's all from from that tobacco curing inside there but I'm gonna get at it get to tearing some of this stuff apart and like I said there's a lot of rot here but you know you'd be amazed at how many good boards are still here and uh, we'll start getting loaded get some stuff loaded up on the truck today okay I want to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about this is about the roughest wall here and uh, I'm getting boards out of it you can see that board at the bottom down there and then uh, boards like this you know, this has been busted or cracked but it's still quite a bit out of it. Let's pull off this, this black here. It would have been a nice board if it hadn't got cracked. No rod on it at all. But uh, we'll cut it off here and have a you know four foot board. So quite a bit in here. You know it looks like total junk but once you uh, start moving stuff around you realize that uh, there's quite a bit of good stuff still left. Uh, we'll keep at it and I think if you look there's another board right there this long one down in here and uh, I think we'll see if we can't get them pulled out of there but uh trying to get all the good stuff and throw all the bad stuff in one pile so, all right show you more okay we're working away down here in the bottom and like I said this is where the worst lumber is but it's all got to be clean, so it don't matter. I uh, just want to do a little reveal on this one. Looks like they was running out of uh, room on that old pine board uh, for the tree. Now all the trees around here came from this area. And you can see that tree right there is just huge. I'd say from that side to that side is about three and a half feet, maybe four feet. I mean, it's, it's a big tree. And uh, it's actually a, I think it's a short leaf pine there, but got a lot of long leaves, and that's probably what this stuff is. But uh, we'll pull the, uh, pull off this one. Now that's, uh, that's not a 12 inch board, that's about a 14 inch board, and maybe 16, I don't know. But, uh, like I said, this is where the real bad lumber is, and you can see, oh, you can see what I was working with here. This is the lumber on the outside of it. That's the lumber on the inside. So, uh, if you ever do something like this, don't be deceived by rod. I mean, you still have a good board. That's, a, you know, a beautiful board to me. Now, this thing was built, uh, I think in 1938 or 1939 is when this was, uh, when this barn was actually built. And the guy that I got this from, uh, he's 82 years old, and he's lived here his whole life since he was uh, a baby. And he used to actually use these barns, and uh, you know his father used these barns, and he hung tobacco in them and worked. And you know that board there. I don't know how long these boards are? I guess they're at least 12 feet, maybe 14. But uh, I didn't bring a measuring tape, but but they give you an idea of what uh, what some of the stuff looks like. And there'll still be good boards up under 
you know, that bad stuff there, believe it or not. And, uh, you know, some of them got broke, but the man that actually put this thing down with the, uh, with the track hoe done a, really a good job compared to, you know, what a lot of people do. He didn't tear a lot of stuff up. So. All right, get back at it and I'll show you more. I'm gonna get, get this board cleaned up, get all the nails out of it and get it loaded and move that way. All right, show you more. Okay, folks, I got a lot of the rotted pulled off of the, you know, the outside here. And uh, we're gonna pull that tarp over off and see how bad they are. I mean, I'm sure I've got some rot, but we're gonna, we're gonna see if there's anything that worth saving there. Sometimes that's the funnest part. But, uh, I'm gonna set you up. I got you clamped to a, to a crowbar here. All right, let me pull that off and we'll, uh, I'll actually see what it looks like. It looks like a lot of it there is savable. Uh, there's some coarse bends and warping and stuff in it, but uh, I think I can do something with some of it anyway. But like I said, that's the worst of the of all of it, I believe. And uh, it's, you know, it was leaking pretty bad in there for a long time. So, but we'll go ahead and get this. I'm trying to get this whole wall done here, and then I'll probably go to the two that's on the ground there and. Uh, we're gonna to have to figure out how to flip them over because we can't uh, can't work on them from the backside and get them all you know get them apart good. So uh, anyway, I'll get these off and see what we come up with. Okay, we've moved from the front wall. I've got it all cleaned up. It's over there. Got all the good stuff anyway, and I've stacked the uh, the bad stuff so I can haul it out. And. Uh, Here's the boards. Of course, I'm not gonna leave the good boards here next to the road because I know darn well that's, you know, stack them up and they'll get missing. But, uh, you know, didn't get as many as we'd like off here. I didn't count, but uh, there's probably 20 boards there, I guess. And, you know, some's good, some's gonna be cut off and shortened. But uh, here's one side wall laying down. I may go ahead and get started on it. And here's the back wall. Now, it's flipped over too, so, and it's broke up some. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Tigers can't be choosers, so uh, we'll get to uh, get to working on this, too. I think I can, let's see, in, inside boards are off of this one, so it may not be as hard. Uh, you know, I love to flip them over and get them from the other side. It's pretty easy, but, you know, we'll get it either way. But, uh, and then our tent over there, of course, Gary, I'll have him come over here and grab all it, and he can have it. But, uh, of course, the tent that was on the uh, lean-to was still good, so I kept all of it. But, uh, we're going to get at it and see if we can get uh, get some more loaded on the truck here. All right, show you more. Okay, folks, we've made it back again with this load and a uh, bunch of uh, 1x12s, a lot of nice ones. You know, some of them we got to shorten and some of them are split some, but, you know, uh, real nice load. And uh, we got our other two tier poles up there and then uh, we got a few one by sixes not many and then uh, some two before rough cut a lot of them are short but you know we can cut them off and use them anyway but uh, this is actually the front and the uh, and the back and uh, of the building so we've still got plenty to get 
and you know some of this is really really nice wood and uh, it's got some good good collar to it now but uh, we're gonna get it loaded into the trailer here and and uh, we'll hopefully get to make another trip over there maybe tomorrow and and get the rest of it all right I'll show you more and here's the tin I don't know if I showed you that or not but uh I don't think I did but uh I think them are about nine feet and the ones below it are about ten feet but uh got quite a bit I didn't even count them but it's off of that you know the lean-to that was on it but uh, there's one piece in here that's been bent across okay folks uh, here's some of the boards I've gotten off these boards was a little wet so I laid them out I actually laid them on this burnt truck here and uh, to let them dry out but I measured them they're 12 inches uh, 14 feet long is what these are and uh, 1 by 12 and uh, you know it's a true one one inch and you know none of them has been plain all just rough cut and uh, got them there and then I've got a couple laying across the frame here just uh, trying to get them dried out and I'm gonna get them loaded in the tractor trailer there but uh got a bunch still got more to get as you can see we've got a uh, Lord I don't know how many two but 12 or one by 12s but we'll get a count on them but you know we've stacked some two by fours and rough cut and some other stuff there and uh, you know the the ends I know the ends don't look good at all uh, but that's normal I mean especially on an old building like that okay this board here this is a really nice board 12 inch wide one inch thick uh, just wanted to show you on the end you know you get down here close to the end and it's got some rot so you know we can take eight or ten inches off of this would be no problem and uh, you know instead of 14 we'll make it 12 or whatever you know put on each end but I wanted to show you that's all axe cut uh, these trees I had talked to Joe the fellow that I've got this from like I said he was he's 82 years old and he's lived there his whole whole life he told me that they were still farming with horses back in the late 30s and uh, when this was built you know they his dad cut this stuff with an axe and uh, actually drug it out with the horses and you know uh, took it to a sawmill a local sawmill and so all these trees came off the land where we got this from and uh, you know the uh, I guess the boards are you know they're 75 years old 80 years old and uh, you know they've got a they've got a really good look to them and uh, you know they're gonna make good boards and I think what I'm gonna do is build a uh, I'm gonna build a little office building or building for my wife and and uh, you know use this for the actual siding and then we'll uh, we'll do a really good overhang on it that way we don't have to worry about it you know water getting on them and, and of course we'll probably spray them too and uh, put something on them to to treat them to keep them from getting you know any rod on them or any bugs in them and uh, you know pretty nice boards so, all right show you more all right we're back over here and uh, it's looking a little better got a lot of it cleaned up here and uh, not nearly as much to uh, to do I've still got some more of a wall there and I've still got the wall that's over that way but everything else is done the tins out everything's cleaned up all the metal uh, I may go through maybe bring a chainsaw over and some of this stuff I can get some short boards out of it and uh, I'll get the short boards out and everything else will get loaded up and get burnt here before it's over with and uh, not a lot more to do really I mean you know it'll come along pretty quick start picking the stuff up cleaning it up but anyway I'm gonna get at it and we're gonna get that wall over there taken care of that's the actually this side wall and I've got most of this side wall I've just got a little bit more uh, laying down there and it should be some good boards there and uh, so I'll get this mess off there and get to work on that and see what we can get done I'll, uh, I'll show you when we get a load here. 
this should be the last load of good logs or good wood coming out of here and uh, the rest is going to be trash I'm sure alright see you more okay folks we're working on the last wall here uh, quite a bit of rot but as you've seen on that other stuff it don't mean a lot it's probably going to be you know a few good boards on top three or four maybe five uh, and then uh, hopefully we'll have some on bottom I know there toward the middle it gets it's pretty rotted but uh, some is out toward the end we should get some good ones on the bottom side but we'll see how they turn out uh, I like taking them off better this way than the other way the other way you got to worry about nails all the time and that's one thing that I definitely worry about is stepping on a nail and uh, you know that can get infected and your foot swell up and you can lose uh, you know a lot of time from working all because of that so every step that you take you gotta look where you're stepping you don't ever ever make a step without knowing where your foot's going and uh, you know and that don't ensure that you're not going to get step on one either I mean you might not see it or something but you gotta be really careful but uh, this way it's not nearly as bad and uh, the boards usually come off a little easier this way but we're going to start tearing this down and this will be the last of the good stuff let's we'll see what we can get uh, looks like we may get some good two befores out of that side where I'd already pulled the wall off and uh, part of the wall so and this is uh, I'm guessing this is probably 20 foot I guess you know I'm not sure what size these barns were 18 by 20 maybe or something like that 18 by 18 or uh, of course I don't keep a measuring tape with me so uh, not sure but we'll go ahead and get this and uh, got quite a bit of the uh, that roll siding what I'm going to do is uh, the roll siding I'm going to roll as much up as I can like that and I'll actually haul it in the back of my pickup and just take it down to, to the uh, local dump here and uh, they won't charge that much I mean they do it by the time but it won't be that much it'll be uh, construction material and then most of the thinner stuff like this uh, uh, roll felt paper we'll just put it in trash bags and get rid of it and then uh, like I said all the wood the wood believe it or not here in North Carolina even though this is untreated rough cut uh, it's still illegal to burn it but uh, I can cut it up and burn it for heat in the winter time and you're okay but uh, and I used to have an outside boiler to where I'd done that but I don't have it anymore so uh, it'll uh, it'll magically dis disappear let's just put it that way but uh, go ahead and get back at it here it looks like once I get this up I I'll probably have about two rollback loads maybe three uh, of scrap you know if I stack it on there good I mean it'll, I, I'd say I can get by with two pretty easy but uh, that won't be too bad we'll get up here and get it you know I can bring the skid steer up here but you know I can make a real big mess with skid steer too and uh, that would be hauling it up here and then hauling it back and uh, you know that I don't see as it's worth it really I mean this stuff could be picked up by hand with no problem there's nothing too big and too heavy here to get so let me get at this and I'll uh, show you more. Here's something I thought was kind of neat. Uh, not sure how they got in there. Uh, this was the bottom of the wall right through here. And uh, there's two Pepsi caps, old ones, like the when I was a kid. Both of them's got Maryland 1788 to 1976 inside of them. Oh, one's got Colorado 1876 to 1976. So, uh, never seen them before. They're really nice inside. But uh, it almost makes you think maybe, I don't know, if maybe there was a hole right here and they was drinking them and working and threw them down in there and they fell down in the wall. But uh, when I pulled this board off, it was actually tucked up in there. Pretty neat, though. You never know what you're going to find. All right, I'll keep at it.
I'll never get over how uh, nice them boards actually look down underneath of that. So it's a bunch of axe cut stuff there on the end too. Um, we'll go ahead and get them off there. Okay, folks, we're officially done. There's our wood. Looks bad from the ends. I hate looking at it from the ends because there's, you know, a lot of us got rot on the ends. But let me get up in there and I'll show you what we've uh, what we've got. Okay, folks, here's all the nails that I pulled. Uh, don't know how many's there, but it is a bunch. All right. Okay. There's our poles that I was calling tear poles, I, and I'm not sure what they're called, but that, that's what I'm calling them. Uh, they're about, I think they're, let me see, these are 14 foot, so them are about, I guess they're close to 18 foot. I guess that's what they are, the long, you know, the, the full length ones. And for the boards now, uh, I've got a few 2 before stacked in here, but uh, we ended up with right at 80 boards, actually about 82, 83 boards. And that's one inch or 12 inch wide boards. So, uh, you know, laid side by side, that's 80 something feet. And uh, the building that we're going to do is going to be probably 8 by 12. So that's plenty of wood to cover the outside. You know, this is not going to be structural anyway. So, but uh, yeah, like I said, we'll put an overhang on it big enough to shed the water off and uh, plenty of wood, you know, for the siding, that's for sure. But, uh, Anyway, job's done, and uh, I was wanting to get some video of the other uh, tobacco barn, you know, just, you can see the poles in it, but I didn't get a chance to get by there. I've been really busy, so uh, the one with the tear poles that you could see, but anyway, uh, appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, commenting, and uh, it won't be too long. Uh, put a building together I've got some uh, 8 by 8 beams and stuff like that and I'm probably not gonna do it myself I'm gonna I'm gonna help but I'm gonna have some help doing it because I'm not a I'm not a carpenter but uh, I enjoy doing it but I'm no good at it so but we've got the wood anyway appreciate everybody watching bye mm -hmm.